action. Hi. Well, we're gonna we've got these uh, short ribs. We're gonna smoke today. So, in order yep. for us to smoke them, okay, okay, I'm gonna show the ribs. Okay. We're gonna use the Gravity 800 by Masterbuilt. There again, this is great. They filled a hopper with, with charcoal. Let me see. Hold on. There it is. We have a starter that we just slide right in here. Wait. Take, okay. Take a lighter. Oops. A little windy today. I push it farther when I do it. Just saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. The good thing about that one, uh, I don't like start the fire and everything, but. Um, I can, further. I can start that one by since, myself. Since we're smoking today, we have this little ash can right here, and we put wet wood in it. Uh, we have plenty of mesquite trees, so we use mesquite wood. And we just put this in here, and then as the charcoal burns, it drops into the ash can, ignites the wet wood, and that's what creates the smoke. See, we've already got smoke starting to come out. You can use dry wood if you want to. Okay. So it has a, it has a sensor here and a sensor right here. So when these are closed, it turns on the fan right down here, and it forces the smoke. No, oh, there's fan. And it forces the smoke from here into the grill area. So we'll go ahead and it looks like our stuff's already started i'll say give it another minute just in case but well, yeah sure. it does look pretty good close that lid big big one i was going to show them the smoke coming through well the thing oh, is, and it also has a sensor too right that, that's why temperature is not coming on because uh it's not gonna kick in till if it's open it's all safety precautions because when you have all this wind circulating fire is usually flares up more right and uh, for that reasons, every time when you open it, the sensor is letting machine know that, hey, it's open and cut the fan. Oh, and we remembered to take our our things out. These these go in here and it cuts down the airflow, which extinguishes the charcoal so that uh, you don't use more charcoal than you need. So you can fill this hopper up as full as you want. No, it recommended that only fill it up on about one third, maybe half. I usually fill it up. See, read instructions. I don't read instructions. I read instructions. I, I like to read. I read instructions. It has like two two lines right there. Right there. Yeah. You can well, see like this line right there. Where it's like connected. Oh, yeah. So I usually fill it up like right here. It's it's a little bit less than a half. But that, that's how I fill it up. The last smoke coming out. Yeah, I think we're good. Go ahead and close. Well, hey, you're the fire master. So, yeah. I'm not too good with fire, but like I said, this, this smoker, I like it, that so, grill smoker. Listen, listen for the fan to kick in. Ready? Yep, there it goes. That smoke isn't coming down. So, we're going to cook the smoke, or we're going to smoke the ribs on, how, how hot? I put it for 190 right now. So, we put the, the digital thing. On 190. Uh, right now it's at. It was 92. 92, 92. degrees. And we're going to cook it at 190 or smoke it at 190 for three hours, you said? Three, four hours, yeah. And then we'll finish it off in the sous vide. So. And then we, we may finish it up again on the grill to get that little crust. Oh, there's a hummingbird. See, there they are. Oh. I guess I scared it. Okay, it flew away. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to smoke them. Then we're going to sous vide them. Then we're going to finish them up maybe under a broiler or, or on the grill. We will, we will see. I mean, shoot. Just we, give them a crusty. Yeah, just to finish them because we want that smoky flavor, but we want them to be really nice and tender. That's why we're going to do them in sous vide. That way they stay nice and juicy because sous vide, that's a good, beautiful thing about it. Cannot overcook it. But you can definitely get it to right condition. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful hot. day. A little breezy, but not much. Yeah, it's a beautiful yeah, day. Let's see. Blueish here. Ooh, look at that smoke come out. 
What's the temperature? 99. 99. What do you think we can? We can go ahead and throw them on. Oh, you can do it? No. You can do it if you want. Just, if I will be yelling, don't be surprised. Put them right there, because you have a lid. I was going to ask you if we... Ah, get the, get the tongues. You let him smoke out. I'm trying to warm it up. Don't open the lid. See, I'm already yelling. Yeah. Don't let heat... Ah, uh, uh, bone down. Turn them. Here, why don't you do this? Okay, let me do it. Let me do it. Okay, so she tells me I have to do bone down. Well, yeah. So she's gonna. Fed up. <laughs> I'm not a cook. She is. Now that that's a battle of grill people. When you do the brisket, which we're not doing the brisket, but I'm trying to get all the. We don't have too too many seasonings. To, I mean, too many spices and just basic salt and pepper, and that's how we're gonna do. Oh yeah, that would be a good thing to talk about. How you. How you uh, prepped it or spiced it or whatever. Salt and pepper, nice and thin. Salt and pepper, that's it. That's it. And I don't want them to this end because it's a little bit, I already know that it's going to be a little bit hotter on that end. And I don't, like again, I don't want them cooked too fast. That's why I try to pile everything up on this end. So anyway, it's like battle of the uh, people who do the grilling and stuff, you know, when you do the brisket, you do it side. Fat side up or down? Do you have an answer? I have no idea. Nobody has an answer. And that's it. All right. Yeah, you have to basically about the brisket, fat side down or fat side up. I guess it's personal preference because there was a lot of battles about it and we really don't know. I'd like to have fat side up if you think about it. That way it melts into the meat. That's what a lot of people say, but then you want a little bit, and they say it's getting a little bit juicier, but yeah, other people, they say it really does not matter. That's what I would think. But anyway. You can flip it halfway if you want to. Yeah. All right, okay. so anyway, we're going to leave them for 190 for about three, four hours, and that project is going to take us about a day or two because so we going to take about at least 24 hours. I may do a little bit higher temperature, but for 24 hours, or I may do a little bit lower temperature, but for 48 hours. And trust me, the ribs, those short ribs, they come out really, really nice and tender and really, really juicy. And that's the whole point of using sous vide, get it to that perfect stage. So not only are we advertising the Master Belt Gravity 800, advertising nothing. <laughs> I'm just but the sous vide as well. Okay. Right. So we're up to. So I don't care. 144. We're up to 100. Whoops. 144. You're saying it like they 148. paid for it. 149 already. I wish they paid us for it, but <laughs> they don't pay us for it. And it's it just the appliances we have at home. So I'm just yep. telling you how we're using it. And, how and she it. loves to do her research on stuff before she buys it. Okay, that's it. Wife rolling eyes. <laughs> Wife rolling eyes. <laughs> ready? <laughs> yeah, ready. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, so we've smoked the ribs. They look like they're done. So we want to shut down the hopper so that the uh, charcoal doesn't burn anymore. So we take our two pieces and they're different sizes. So I put the, the fat one in on top. Long one. And the skinny one. It's not, they are the same lengths. No, yeah. Width. Yeah, the width is same. Yeah, so the fat The one, lengths are different. Yeah, the lengths are different too. The bigger one. <laughs> to on solve top. the problem, we're going to say the bigger one. And the smaller one, we'll put right here. Are you already turn it off? And that shuts down the airflow. Right. Then we'll come over here. We're just going to unplug it. No, 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 no. I don't know how to turn it off. You don't know how to turn it off. You just push. Ah, there we go. And that's it. Press and hold. Press and hold. Or maybe not just press. I don't know. Oh, those look good. And the uh, first stage of our cooking is done. Well, that one don't look like it shrunk at all, but that one looks like it shrunk a lot. They all shrunk, trust me. Mm -hmm. so. good. Mmm, smells good too. Ah, yeah, we can smell it. 
All right, now we're gonna just uh, take them off. You want me to do it? See, that's how they look. And next stage, next, next stage gonna be sous vide. And that's how, don't drop anything. And that's how those grades are. Um, they like triangle. And when you flip them, that's for grill side. That's why he was talking last time, but we never actually showed it. So when you smoke, they skinny side up. So that way you have more surface explode and open for the, for the smoke. And when you're gonna grill, then you flip it in that, uh, you think? I don't, I don't know, they're kind of heavy. We can just lift it. So, so that's how they look on this end. That way you have better grill marks because they're gonna be it, hot, it hot. sear on this side? Right, and, um, and that way you can have better grill marked on it and it touches more. And it says smoke on this side. Right. And, and that's going to be it for now, so... That's, that's how it looks for now. But we still have two more steps to go. You're ready, right? Okay, so um, after we smoked the ribs, I went ahead and put them in a vacuum bag. And we're going to split it in three dinners. So they all will be ready for dinner later. But first, we're gonna put them in sous vide. So we have our ANOVA precision cooker container. And we're gonna cook it on 132 degrees for 48 hours. Because I figured tomorrow and after tomorrow we have to work. And that way we can have dinner ready. Well, one of the dinners ready Tuesday evening and two others will be ready and it will be really quick finish up now we just place the bags in here i put the rack on the bottom water is a little bit warm a little bit now sometimes when meat cooking it releases the gas especially pork beef not so much but sometimes they still float i don't want them to float and we're gonna use chain yeah. <laughs> that's what six stuff <laughs> I'm just gonna put it right here on top so that way they definitely don't go nowhere. Now we're gonna put the lid back. And we're gonna leave it for 48 hours plus minus a couple hours. The good thing about sous vide, it's not gonna overcook and it will be ready when I'm ready. So that's the good part. And like I said, I put rack on the bottom uh, on the bottom, that way circulation water goes all around the place. So it goes on the bottom, on top, and water goes all over the place. And chain gonna keep it down. And that's about it. Now we're just gonna leave it there for 48 hours plus minus. And when we're ready, then we get it out, finish it up on a broil or grill, fix whatever side we're fixing, you know, and dinner will be ready. That's it for now. Okay. Does that go on the other side? Alright, uh what goes on the other side of the fence? I don't see it. I don't see the gold on the other side of the fence. I don't know. They two standing right there. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I think one's on the other side. Oops, wrong way. It's, yeah, it's actually very, very possible. I think she is on the other side. Oops. I think she is too. But video is not about the goats. So we cook, we smoke the beef, then uh, short ribs. Then we cook them in sous vide for 48 hours at 132 degrees. Well, actually it was about 50 hours because by the time I made it home from work and everything. And now we're finishing them up on the grill. I don't have like flames coming up, but still, they already, I mean, they got a little cold, so they will be fine just by warming up on the grill. And then I'm gonna flip them a couple of times, finish them up, and then we're gonna cook.
cut it and see what happened but it's that's going to be just just oh yeah we're doing it on small grill because it's going to be just dinner for right now and that's where we don't want to light up the big one but we usually cook like dinner for now on that little bitty one i like this thing so works great and now i'm just gonna cook them a little bit like a few minutes here a few minutes there flip them a few minutes and that's gonna be it and that's gonna be done and i'm gonna show how they look when they're done and now finishing up our dinner we have some um potatoes we just put some seasoning in it some um well grapeseed oil because i like that one better i threw some um lettuce on the grill too so we can have a little bit fancier salad but the star of the show the ribs and that's how they look after we finish of course i'm in the house with artificial lightning right light lights anyway but um I cut it, just sliced it a little bit so we can see and see sous vide, that's, that's the trick. And um, that's how nice and juicy it is. Just nice and shiny and beautiful. Ah, and we finished it, like I said, we finished it just on the grill just a little bit. So we're gonna go eat and enjoy ourselves. I don't think, do you wanna do like test drive? Oh, no. You can have that little piece I cut off. No, that's okay. Okay, Mike don't want to be a star. And I will be honest with you, I came home from work and I'm a little bit, well, been cooking for a couple hours because I was waiting for him to get home and I'm a little bit starving. And so we're going to go eat. But that's how it looks. Thank you.